This year's Emmy nominations reflect that we are truly living in the era of peak TV, with a wide range of familiar faces, newcomers, and some surprises, too. You have changed the way I think about love. Here's a look at the 2017 Emmy nominees. Big plan. Saturday Night Live and Westworld lead the pack with 22 nominations, with Westworld also getting a nod for Best Drama Series. The stacked category includes a ton of new shows, including Stranger Things and This Is Us, along with Hulu's acclaimed hit, The Handmaid's Tale. I guess it's a little strange. Elizabeth Moss, the star of the dystopian series, will face off against Westworld's Evan Rachel Wood for Best Actress in a Drama Series. I wouldn't say friends, Dolores. Her counterpart on Westworld, Anthony Hopkins, is nominated for Best Actor in a Drama Series, along with both Sterling K. Brown and Milo Ventimiglia from This Is Us. We gave you everything we could. And all I was supposed to feel was grateful. And This Is Us isn't the only cast that has multiple people nominated in the same category. Anyway, you're gonna love it. Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon, the leading ladies of HBO's Big Little Lies, will face off for Best Actress in a Limited Series, as well as Jessica Lange and Susan Sarandon of FX's Feud. No one's looking to cast women our age. In the comedy categories, two bona fide stars lead the acting groups. Julia Louis-Dreyfus is again nominated for Veep, as well as Jeffrey Tambor for Transparent. Can nothing go right for me, ever? <laughs> However, they are both going up against the Golden Globe winners in these categories from earlier this year. Tracy Ellis Ross for Blackish and Donald Glover of Atlanta. What? No? Both of these shows are also vying for Best Comedy Series along with Veep. And lastly, it wouldn't be an award show without a host, and this year it's Stephen Colbert who is also a nominee. Happens all the time. Happens all the time. His CBS Late Show is up for Best Variety Talk Series and faces the likes of Samantha Bee, Jimmy Kimmel, and John Oliver. Oh, that is some blatant favoritism. 